India, a country that overwhelms the senses. The Garden of Eden must have been as beautiful as this. With year-round warm weather and a low cost of living, could this be the perfect place to retire? If you'd won the lottery, where would you choose to be? I'm going there almost as a child, uh, with my eyes wide open. Thank you. Inspired by the blockbuster film, eight well-known faces are spending a month in Kochi, in the south of India. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Oh. To see if living out their golden years here could be a real alternative. Oh, my God, I look fantastic. Handsome. We started to dance down the street. I never thought I would ever do that at my age. Whatever's new and exciting, I haven't done it yet. Let's do it. And let go. Oh! oh! But will the challenges of India prove a step too far? Calm down, everybody. Chill, pill. There's something down there that feels like it shouldn't be. Or could this incredible country give them real food for thought? I can't help being excited by India. It's a chilly autumn morning at London's Heathrow Airport. At the departure terminal is 80-year-old ex-Coronation Street actor Amanda Barry. We've thought many, many times about where would be the ideal place where we would retire. Well, we have considered everywhere. I'm here to audition India to see if it comes up to scratch. Amanda, how are you? Also on this journey is 67-year-old snooker champion Dennis Taylor. And 69-year-old three degrees singer Sheila Ferguson. Oh, oh my god, how are you? Oh, so lovely to meet you. Dennis oh. Taylor, how are you? How are you? I'm about to make a move, and the move hopefully will be the last move before I'm in my grave. Changing countries is not a big deal for me. I've never been to India, and so why don't I give it a crack? Now we're going to be living together for a month, huh? You think we'll survive it? Next to arrive is 75-year-old former Goody and wildlife expert, Bill Oddie. You're going to be after me. This is jet lag. It's just stop jet lag. Who cares about jet lag? Let's get the emodium going. <laughs> and 67-year-old chef, Rusty Lee. Moving to India, I really want to see everything for the first time. I want to look at it and think, is this somewhere I'd like to live? <laughs> the other travellers on this Indian adventure are 79-year-old TV doctor and agony aunt Miriam Stoppard. Oh, my God, look at the gorgeous girls. Oh. And 72-year-old Just Good Friends star, Paul Nicholas. Hello there. How are you, darling? Just what I needed. Last to arrive is the oldest member of the group. 87-year-old dancer, Lionel Blair. What are we doing? I'd love to live in a warm climate. I'd love to wake up every morning with the sun shining. I would love that. They're flying over 5,000 miles to Kochi in the southern Indian state of Kerala. With a tropical climate and a low cost of living, its residents enjoy one of the longest life expectancies in India. Here we are, Miriam. We're in Kochi. Oh. I'm not very... I just had a wheel crash. Forget troubles, come on. <laughs> Welcome to India. <laughs> Put the luggage where? Whatever happened to ladies first? <laughs> Go! <laughs> it's 
sir. Driving time is one hour, sir. Depends on the traffic. Yeah, Dennis is my name. Don't say sir, Joe. I like Dennis. Not Dennis. sir. Not sir. Okay. No sir. And no ma'ams were Miriam and Shirley. Sheila. Miriam? Sorry. Miriam and Sheila. Shirley. Sure. Miriam? Sure. Shirley's one of the best singers I've never heard. <laughs> it's very tropical. I didn't expect it to be so green. The green magic. The green magic, the green magic. is it? I like that. For the next four weeks, home will be the port of Old Kochi, known locally as the Queen of the Arabian Sea. They'll be living alongside the locals to see whether this could be the perfect place for them to retire. Jose, I'd like to use the toilet. Is there one nearby? We don't close by. I need to have a wee. Hang on. Oh, shit. Is there any way I could... Is there a toilet down here? Yeah. Thank you. You can get... Oh, who's got the key? Last shop. Ah, the last shop. I don't really have many preconceived ideas about India. Ah, I feel like I'm opening a business. <laughs> we will be charging to go. I'll let you know how it is. So, to me, I'm going there almost as a child, uh, with my eyes wide open, to sort of take it in as I get there. I kind of like the idea of that. Do you need to use the toilet? It's uh, five rupees. I'm very into the toilet system here now. <laughs> to reach their new home, they're taking the commuter ferry, costing them four Indian rupees, the equivalent of five pence. So these people are coming to work here? Yeah. In sort of good morning, you can say namaste. Namaste? I don't think it was a very good idea. <laughs> I've never had such a good terrible look I mean, back for the in my wife. life. If you went through the list of the reason people retire to faraway places, you know, the, the weather's one of them. But I mean, the first time we went to India in this little group of bird watchers, we couldn't believe how cheap everything was, you know. The cost of living is just sort of unreal. The rent for an average three bedroom family house in Old Kochi is just over £30 a week. Oh, look at this goat! <gasps> Please be careful! Is this where we're living? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's another world. Going to India is um, nerve-wracking. It really is. Things like sanitation and everything. I hope that that is OK, because I find that cleanliness is next to godliness, as they say, but I'm very clean. Oh, my dear friends, this is your house. This is your home. Built in the 16th century by Portuguese merchants, this house will become a unique retirement home for the next month. We've got a reception committee. Where these eight strangers will need to learn to live together. Greeting the group is housekeeper Smita. How are you? Good, welcome. Thank you. How many times have you been sitting round at a dinner party and at some point somebody said, we could buy somewhere. We could all live together and we could all eat together. India, I think, shrieks that. It's, you know, got the edge on Eastbourne, quite frankly. We uh, oh, threw the holy water all over my glass, as the can't see it. That's what I said. Uh, this is just what the doctor ordered, if I may say so. Walking through that door and seeing women dancing. Beautiful, yeah. Let's not leave out the guys. They look pretty hot, too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but don't look at me like that. I just wanted to check. There are two rooms which are downstairs and the six rooms upstairs. So if anybody has a preference to not climbing stairs, exactly. Well, you know, I think we just have keys and we take the room and it's potluck. That's OK with me. So would it I need be a veranda. for you to be downstairs? No, I need a veranda upstairs. My daughters think I'm a control freak. I don't know why they think that. It's yeah. just there's a natural order in the universe. Some people follow, some people lead, and I tend to lead. Sheila? Yes? Since you've uh, requested yeah. the veranda room. Thank you. Let's do it, Smita. I love that I'm in the John Thomas <laughs> That's oh. the name of your room. It can't be. What comes with this room? Do you know what John Thomas is? No. You'll find out. 
We were talking to the driver. I was talking yeah. about where to go to get a sari made. I think I'll talk to you. <laughs> At 69, single Sheila is used to living on her own. OK, I'll be right down. If you need anything, just shout out to me. OK, thank okay. you, as, as I've been doing. Yeah. OK, okay. thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, dear. I have a lot of clothes. I'll work something out. If not, I'll use somebody else's room to hang a few things. <laughs> There's always a way. Oh, that's beautiful. That's absolutely gorgeous. This is the main man's room. I mean, there's two double beds in the room. I might push them together. Ooh! <laughs> Where's Bill? I want his room. Where's Bill? I don't know. Bill! I'm going to get unpacked before somebody wants to swap. <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be no swapping here. Hello? Bill? Oh, man. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right, don't tell anybody this is the one. <laughs> Life's not fair, but you got to work the ankles. Bill? Bill? Hello. Don't you want to change rooms with me? Because no. I can have to. But if you got a bathtub. Well, let me have a look what you've right. got. Oh, no, 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 that is fine. That is fine, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, bless you. Oh, because I've got so much luggage. Yes. You're very welcome. And you, and you can yes. probably... That's what the British call a right result. Come back. I'm coming. Air conditioning. So I found it. I found the knob. <laughs> Excellent. There it is. In all its glory. I was forbidden to bring it, but I'm a rebel, so I brought it. It feels good to have a house full of guests. They seem like an interesting bunch of people, and um, I think we need a couple of days to get to know each other and figure each other out. And I do think that India will be an eye-opener for them. Most people, when they come to India, they love it or they hate it, but you're never indifferent to it. <laughs> <laughs> for the next four weeks, the group will be eating all of their meals together. It's very subtle flavors, aren't they? Mm. My favorite. It's when my wife makes stew and dumplings. I adore it. Well, we could probably have <laughs> With that. lots of gravy. I love Indian that. Indian stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh, God, oh, Lionel! Oh, Excuse oh, me. Jesus, darling, are you all right? I thought your head had fallen off for a minute. <laughs> oh, I do love a good sneeze. <laughs> I want to see how this compares with the Western world. I'm really excited about the mystic side of <laughs> India. I am. A certain amount of disillusion. It was the hippie pilgrimage to come over here, and then I'm not sure I've heard of anybody going to India to find themselves for many a year now, really. Well, maybe we might find ourselves again, who knows? I'm not lost, but you never know. <laughs> <laughs> no, my son did a gap year, and he came here, and he loved it. But he didn't come back a hippie, or, you know, he said it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen the beauty yet. No. So we haven't travelled anywhere yet, no. so... This makes you go to the loo, this one. Just to steady me down in a new place and to calm me down and let me sleep. I'm out of my depth a bit here. I was a bit shocked because it's in an area that's a bit, for want of a better word, a bit shantytown and a bit, you know. I mean, when I first started touring, I've stayed in places like this. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to cope. That case is going to lie on the bed next to me because this is the side of the bed I sleep in at home. And I'm going to imagine that my wife is lying there next to me. And that'll make me feel much better. And little Ted will be in the middle. The eight senior citizens have a month to work out if this is a place that they could set down roots. 
And their first taste of living like a local is starting their day with a yoga class. Namaste. Their teacher is Raj, who has specially designed a course of yoga for them. Very gentle. Okay, sure. With me. Okay. Okay, oh, okay <laughs> sure. That, that. Okay, fine. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah, sure. So let's start. Hands on your hip. And slowly head right side first. And slowly to left. Repeat. Right. I have done yoga quite a few times at various points in in life. And at the end of the day, to sort of be a little fat bloke <laughs> trying to get into positions which only thin young people should do. I mean that's not the spirit of yoga or anything. I can't take it seriously. Open your mouth and put your tongue down. All the stress is now going out. You'll all come up with, with pulled muscles. I bet the thing you'd really kill for is a cup of coffee, right? <laughs> That's my light. That's my salvation. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll get him down here one morning. Mm. Nectar of the gods, that is. <laughs> Are you relaxed? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. The house comes with staff who will clean, tidy and cook for them at a cost of £20 a week per person. I'd love a cup of tea. Yeah, it'd be lovely. Thank you. But if they're going to consider living here, they need to discover what the neighbourhood offers them. I just needed to know what you wanted today. Yes, and I was just saying to Bill, my wife, who's very, very, very good, she's packed my case and everything, but she forgot I've only got two pairs of underpants. You can borrow my knickers. Thank you. <laughs> so that is my main task of today. Finding some underpants. That's good. <laughs> so we're going to explore the market. Yes, right. I'm going to the market to get food. Rusty, what do you need to shop for? I'm f shopping for the chicken, spices. It's just that I need to know where to take you to get stuff. Oh, I see. Because you will not get chicken at the same place that you will get spices. OK. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would expect to have staff in India because you've worked to pay for someone to do that so you can be able to be freed up to do other things. But cooking food is a major part of my life and it will be well into my retirement. As far as the shopping is concerned, I think the food people can do that. Yeah. I would all they look what rest. they are doing. Yeah. So where are you going then? We're wondering. Actually, we've got to give them a, a job to do, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> we'll delegate. If it's near and if it's open, the fish, what's good for local and what's what, yeah. you know? I'll come back with two goldfish. <laughs> I have to go and get my bag. It's fine. How far is the walk? 40 minutes or so. What? A 40 F.O. minute walk? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'll bring up the rear. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Some people are outdoor chicks and some people are indoor chicks. Come on. Oh, my goodness. The temperature's killing me. Sheila, Rusty and Miriam are heading to Kalur Market in the center of Old Kochi. These goats are all tied up and behaving nicely. They better. Before <laughs> they, get, they get slaughtered, <laughs> there'll be dinner. Yeah, oh. in other parts where there is lamb, they eat lamb, but generally it's goat. Go. I'll be with you in a minute. Go ahead. Ah. Ah. I'll be back. I'll be back. Go get the food, children. Go. Ah. After my divorce, I sold my home and I moved to Mallorca, figuring it was a better climate, and I have total anonymity in Mallorca, and nobody knows what I do. I'm used to being alone. I'm not used to being with people. Oh, where's Sheila? Where is she? No, I'm coming. Just nothing my style. Conceivably, I could go the whole week and don't have any contact with human beings, emotionally or physically. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Good. Wow. Lovely. Housekeeper Smita shops here regularly for fruit and vegetables for the house. Onions, chilies, chilies, chilies. Is this coca? That's tapioca. What food means to me is joy, entertainment, relaxation. Pumpkin. They have okra. Yeah, I've seen the okra. I love a market. It's tremendous to me. It's got its own music. I need some chilies. I want garlic, onions, tomatoes. You got to tell him how much, my dear. Darling, I'm sure. No, no, sure. but I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the plantings, how much? I think we should move on. Thank you. In search for Paul's underpants. Hello. Morning. I need to I need to buy some underpants. I'm not sure yet you'll get an underpants over there. But you can find the shop on your left. Right. Uh, that shop name is Fab India. Fab India. <laughs> Down on the right hand side. In Kerala, English is widely spoken. Hello there. Could I buy some briefs? You don't have briefs. There's a Palace Street. Palace Street? How do you spell that? Um don't worry, I'll find it. But that's a sorry. But that's a, a woman's shop, isn't it? As far as we know, he's got a bear on, but you can't get through three or four weeks in India, soggy old atmosphere and one pair of underpants, can you? Do you sell them? Yeah. Uh, pants, yes. Even if you wash them down again. So I know what he means. Oh, no, no. Brief pants. Brief pants? Yeah, you know, underpants. Small pants. You don't have them? Ah. Palace Road. What is this underpant app? No, no, I, I text. <laughs> I did text the my wife. I d Hello, love. This is me. Yeah. Just had breakfast, and I'm going to look for underpants, as I don't seem to have any. Speak soon. And yeah. she has sent back. Yeah. You had six pairs in your suitcase. <gasps> I put three white ones in, and then you gave me three dark ones. Odd. New tiles should arrive Tuesday. What's that going to do? New tiles? Indeed. She just wants to let me know. I'll match that. My text yesterday says, bought new toilet. Well, there you go. <laughs> perhaps, <laughs> perhaps our wives are moving in The together. minute you go out the house, they're, they're on it. Oh, buying porcelain yes, things. Absolutely. <laughs> Kerala is famous worldwide for its fish. Just 200 metres from the house are the local fishing nets. Lionel, Amanda and Dennis are in search of their fresh fish supper. We might want to buy some fish. No problem, come on. These traditional levered fishing nets allow the locals to trawl the shallow water's edge every few minutes to maximise their catch. Can you explain the song, what the song means? Yeah, yeah, what, yeah this is the fisherman's song. Yeah. Oh, la, la. Hey, hey, la, la. This is a very good catching. Yeah. Oh, catching song, yeah. Yeah, catching the fish coming, and the song. Hey, girl, hey, chala, hey, chala. This is no heavy. The song? And it also makes everybody happy. Happy, happy. Yeah. 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 I like it. This could be a number one. I think. <laughs> Next thing you are to pulling. Uh, pull, yeah. Pull. I want a song okay. and happy, okay? No standing on the rope. No, because you're walking. Oh, okay, yeah. Into yeah. outer space. Up on me. Cut this way. My father was a big, keen fisherman. I wish I knew the words to this song. <laughs> And he'd go off. I oh, spent all his time. I've got some lovely photographs of him uh, fishing. It bored me to tears when I was a youngster. I'd love how they catch fish in India. It's not the traditional way it is in the UK. What do we catch? Catfish. Catfish. A bit more exciting fishing. What's the best fish for, for this India? Is the snapper. snapper. The snapper, yeah? The snapper is yeah. the best. Is the that... snapper is better. Can I the buy snapper. some snapper? It's for maybe eight people. Uh, four fish? Yeah, four fish. How much for four fish? Uh, four fish, that's the small one. 650 Thunders. rupees. 650, how many? 600. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank Have a nice day. Oh, my God! Look! It's like blood. I think off the fish. It's a crime scene. You see, I knew I should bring my vanish. 
बरसात भी आकर चली गई बादल भी गरज कर बरस गए I I'm not mad on shopping. You know, I always amaze when I go shopping with my wife that her face changes. You're like hunters. And it does take some time sometimes. Variety menswear. Ah. I can sense the presence. Ah, oh, this looks like us, son. So I'm one of these guys that kind of knows what he wants and I'm in there and I'm out in 30 seconds. Oh, look, there's a picture of you outside. <laughs> We won't be long, thank you. Thank you very much. How do you know oh, you yes. won't be long? Oh. Morning, men's underwear. Yes, lovely, thank you. Have you got them? Yeah, yeah. Thank well, you very much. Got... Bill, I was going to buy six, but as I'm feeling a bit queasy, I, I think I'd better buy eight. Really? Uh, it, well, yeah. <laughs> Is it possible to see one out the packet? Oh, look, come on. Oh, oh yes, yes, look. Yes. What were they saying? Chocolate brown, playboy, 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 <laughs> honestly. So that's just over eight quid for eight pairs of underpants. Thank you very much indeed. You've saved my life. Actually, I had a ball. I, I, I had a ball. We all had a great Hello. time, actually. Hiya. Yeah. I'm used to doing my own thing, my own way. So and also, <laughs> do you know what I realized? I'm so used to living alone. It's the first time I've been with people 24-7. Sweeter, a very successful mission, and I, I bought them with you in mind. Playboy! My, <laughs> with you in mind. I got the medium, by the way. <laughs> I didn't want to get large, uh, but I didn't barter. Did you, nobody barters that much. In no, a, it's ridiculous. Especially in a shop like that. It took me back to going to the Caribbean. Have a look at this. Oh, I could have came here. Look, covered oh, in blood. Fishing. Wait, fishing. Oh, yeah. I thought it was this. I thought it was a patent it's shirt. Like, it's a lovely like a... design, dear. <laughs> Ah, there they are. Hello. Ah, oh, brilliant bay leaf. Despite having a cook, 67-year-old chef Rusty can't resist getting involved. We have one cook with many helpers. <laughs> We've got a chef as well, so... But chef is helper today. Yes. Do you want them sliced? Washed, they've got to be washed. So okay. just peel them, peel them. Varghese has been a cook for the past 40 years. Having a cook in India, that'll be great because I will be able to learn probably techniques from them and they will be able to learn techniques from me. May I have a look? Let me have a look. Stop. Let's have a look. Oh, sorry. Oh, no problem. More, a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> They're saying too many cooks. Get out of my kitchen. I wouldn't call it a control thing. I would call it being a homemaker. This will take a good hour and a bit. Yes. Really? That's why we need to shift it along. Right, the local off license. Welcome to my tutu for Thank you. Thank you. I want a little Indian lager. You have air conditioning, I see. <laughs> Natural. On the booze runner. How far is it? Do we know? It's, a, it's about five minutes, apparently. Right. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. What do you fancy? A little. A few cold beers and a little bit of lemonade for me, I think. Yeah. A very good drink for snooker players whiskey and windoline. You still get drunk every night, but in the morning your eyes are as clear as a bell. Ah, yes! Unlike in Britain, the sale of alcohol in the state of Kerala has strict limitations and is only permitted at government-run stores. Eleven pounds to book one of these guys all day. All right, dear. Yeah. Very good value, don't I'll you have, think? We'll have a couple of days, I think. <laughs> Paul and Dennis have enlisted the help of Smeeter to source the group's booze the local way. Just bear in mind, I've never done this. I'm only doing it for you. I don't believe a word of it. Of course. You're I'm here telling. every day no. to buy your alcohol. <laughs> but you have to stand in line. It's OK. I'm used to, to being look. at the end of a queue. <laughs> <laughs> you need but to know what you want. We need a couple of bottles of white wine. You They'll... cannot say that. Is there a Be limit? specific. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So what's the limit? You can either buy five bottles. 
There's somebody else nipping oh, in, look, my dear. Oh, look, it's cheeky sod. <laughs> it's OK. You just nipped in. Push it in, mate. <laughs> I'm sticking close to this bloke. You no, can no. buy two bottles of alcohol. Yeah. Or five bottles of beer. So you keep sending your family, different people, to get, you know... If you have a party, can you imagine how many trips you've got to do? Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to serve them beer. And the queue's getting longer. Oh, yes. By the end of the evening, it'll be down the road. Really? Hello there. Could I have one... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so sorry. Could I have one bottle of beer? You want blue or premium? Which is best? Premium. Try the blue. Oh, what, what's wrong with the blue? Premium. Nothing. I'll have the premium. Thank you. So what can I do now? Can I buy any more? Two beer. Two beer? Well, give me another bottle of the other one, the blue. Is that enough? Oh. Would you like me to buy your wine on that? Ask him if you can get that. Can I have a bottle of what is it you want? Fratelli White. Fratelli White. Yes, please. One bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. I'm doing all right, yeah. Two thousand. Two thousand? He reaches into his pocket for the money. Help me with this. Is that a thousand? No. For eight bottles, it cost twenty-four pounds. And then you had a thousand in your hand. I've never bought a beer like this, but what's good about it is that you have to be quite precise about what you want, so you're not going to kind of waste your time. That, I think that's right, isn't it? Two two beers and two one wine and one Bacardi. That's correct, right, isn't right. it? Yeah, that is correct. Thank you. Uh, have you got a bag? Okay, now they are all going to getting impatient. Let's go. Have you ever seen anything like that in your ask, life? I took no, but it was very efficient. Well, it's yeah, but you know, they were raving at me. Why? Oh, yeah. Saying that. Slow. Yeah. Are you going to take the entire day to buy two bottles? Is that what they said? Yeah. I hope you told them to piss off. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> All right, see you back at the ranch. Nice little balcony. Uh. Yes, this is very nice. I'll just pour you a little beer. Is that a strong one? This is the milder one. I think the strong one's too much. You'd have to put some uh, lemonade in it. You know, it's it's very pleasant. It's quite nice, isn't it? it? Cheers, Cheers mate. Paul. God bless. Good help, yeah. We get, it, get Dennis homesick now, we did. Hard eight, hey, shot. He thought I heard some Irish music then. I have to say, I'm, I'm loving the company here. You know, they're all lovely in their different ways, and it is there are quite a lot of different ways, you know. Um, but, having said that, you know, I think we'd all go a bit balmy if you couldn't get away to your room for a bit, you know. And so th this, I've got lucky here, this is perfect, because this is a substitute for my garden at home, I suppose. <laughs> Shall I have the bottle of water, please? Um, there it is, a bottle I'll there, look. This. Thank you. Have you ever been to England? That's vinegar! I said, is this the water? Said, yes, and I started using that for the water. Let's take the chicken out. Oh, for She's added about a quarter of a pint of vinegar to each pan. So we're throwing away the juice and we're starting again. It's, um, we're trying to save it. Well, we will save it. What a shame. But it does smell of vinegar. It's not my kitchen, and being as we're in India, and everyone says to use bottled water. So I thought, oh, they put the bottled water there for me to you use. To so that's what I did, and it was white vinegar. Not being able to read the label. <laughs> Have you got coconut cream? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll that would be good, coconut. wouldn't it? Thank you, darling. Thank you. Dennis. Oh, he's got my hat, isn't he? <laughs> That'll save my life tomorrow. Would you like something to drink? Oh, you water or tonic? Anything. 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 Thank you so okay. much. Thank yeah. you. Oh, <laughs> what, what are you doing? Nothing. I, you I, look like you've seen God. I have. Thank you. <laughs> I have got laugh-itis. I have caught it from these dreadful people. I, everything has become a joke. And I now can't stop laughing. I have for you okra, onions, tomatoes, and chicken as well. We Can we stop? Please stop. stop. Thank you. Mm. I'm not saying anything. Fingers crossed. I don't like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so how long did this take to prepare then, Diana? Two, two hours. 
It's very good. It's very good. Rusty, what's getting the little the spice in the chicken? That's beautiful. What is, have you tried it? Oh, have I ever? Yeah. Oh. Any, anybody that doesn't like their chicken, just leave it there. <laughs> it's beautiful. I think it tastes very nice, but it was a panic. <laughs> I'm staying out of the cooking. <laughs> You are listening to a very special program today. The weather is just beautiful and clear for celebrating on. So let's enjoy. The group are waking up to their third morning and a public holiday in Kerala. Well, I think we're going to see music, dance. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Oh, I didn't know that. So I'm going to go and have a wash. <laughs> Today is the most important date in the Kerala calendar, the celebration of Onam, honouring the myth of a utopian paradise which ended when its creator, King Mahabali, was banished from the state. Dennis, Paul, Sheila and Miriam are travelling four miles to Ernakulam, the metropolitan centre of Kochi, to visit the Onam procession. They are coming from all over Kerala. And ladies and gentlemen, when you come to see the people, you can just wish them good morning. To say thanks, you can say nanni. 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 Yeah, nanni. Nanni. Yeah. Nanni. <laughs> nanni. You know the footballer? Not nanni. 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 Nanni means the lavatory. <laughs> lavatory. Oh. Nanni is the lavatory. So nanni, nanni is thanks <laughs> for the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Governed by the Communist Party, this area of India prides itself on being the land of equals. And today is a chance for the Keralites to celebrate living together harmoniously, whatever their religion. So, my dear friends, this is Mr. Sanju. He's a local guide here. Will there be music and stuff? Yeah, yeah. And in front of the elephants, we can see the people with the flutes. A bit of dancing as well, maybe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can. We can. <laughs> no problem. That's <laughs> why you're that. always smiling, yes? Because that's a trademark of Kerala people. Yeah. And uh, we want to introduce ourselves through our smiles. You are in God's own country. Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> but we certainly feel like that. Thank you. <laughs> Nani. Yeah. Nani. Yeah. yeah. I was brought up in an Orthodox Jewish home, so I'm very... Um, you know, my childhood was festivals, all different kinds of festivals for all different reasons. And they punctuated the whole year. I like dancing, but I wouldn't dare dance with my family because they just say, Mom, stop that. They've been saying that since they were, you know, five years old. I wasn't allowed to dance with my sons. So, Sanji, what is the, what is the festival all about? What is it celebrating? Onam is the main celebration of Kerlin people. And after the Southwest Monsoon, we are getting ready to uh, celebrate our uh, Harvest Festival. Do you have to be a Hindu to take part in it? No, or no, no, no. Everyone, no. everyone. Everyone, everyone, everyone. So you mean, you mean in the procession there could be Muslims and Christians? Yes, absolutely. A religious harmony you can see here. The best area to accommodate the other people from different parts of the world. Maybe that's why Kerala is known as God's own country. You. The drums are irresistible, the music's irresistible, and we started to dance down the street. Do you know, I never thought I would ever do that at my age. And yet there I am, you know, bopping away. And I'm thinking to myself, how are you doing this? Because I don't do it at home. So maybe I'll start doing it a little bit more. Oh, there comes Mahabali, the king. Oh, there's the king. What a festival. And the big elephant in the middle was absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like that. I live near Wrexham, and uh, they do have some nice parades there, but you, you won't get three beautifully dressed elephants walking through Wrexham, I don't think. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Now 
Tsunami. Tsunami. Hello, goats. They don't bite, do they? See, that could turn into a beautiful villa, couldn't it? Lionel is the eldest member of the group, and at 87, he's finding adapting to life in India the most difficult. I'd like to have a little sit down, yeah. and because I'm an old man. I'd like to have a cigarette, actually. I think it's my age, really. I think when I was younger, it didn't worry me. It, you feel very vulnerable. You know, animals roaming in the street, you know cattle and everything. You see, things like that put me off. What we've seen, like where we're living and where we're staying, is very nice. Very nice. When we go outside the door, it is horrific. Ooh. It's not horrific That's a bit of a strong me. word, but, you know, I find it a bit sort of sad in a way. It's not horrific at all. It's the way... I didn't expect to live in Shantytown. I mean, it's shaken me. The point is, we can't expect it to be England. If it was England, we would have to travel, would we? So, you know, we have to see it, see it, and be able to say, well, would I like to be here? Yeah. My eldest son went travelling, and he told me he went all over India. He loved the whole experience. He just said, you should never turn down something you've never done before. Really or places you've never been. Even to say, I don't like it. I don't do anything to relax. And everybody keeps telling me, every doctor I see, anybody who meets me says, you need to relax. In fact, the only question I've ever had that stomped me was, what do you do for relaxation? When do you turn off? So I need to address calming Sheila down. Sheila and Paul are visiting a traditional Ayurvedic massage parlor, just a four minute tuk-tuk ride from the house. Ayurvedic massaging center. Okay, thank you. If I didn't have a bad back before I got in this, I've certainly got one now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Shaggy. Don't pay any attention to him. That was a lovely ride. Yeah. Thank you for your chariot. Yeah. Hi. How are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. So, you do me. Ah, the and ladies she does are doing you. for ladies oh, and gents. Oh, why can't you do me and she do you? <laughs> well, I would prefer that too. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but this is our customs, Ayurvedic tradition. Okay, shall we start? I can't be boring, but I do need to be able to contain all the energy, because I do have a lot of energy. So I've been told. <laughs> now, I understand that you do this completely naked. Not completely naked. We will use this. Oh, I see. Is that all? That, that's... <laughs> if it lifts, I'm out of here. <laughs> now, how do I, what do I do with it? How do I fit that? <laughs> Tie here. Oh, I see, it just hangs I'm, down. I'm... It, well, I was going to say, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't need to be that long. <laughs> yeah. OK, here we go. Thank you very much. This retreat is open to anyone looking to relax their body and mind using ancient Indian methods. <laughs> you, you, you're not Enjoy. OK. OK, cool. Sit here. Okay. So we probably do have a bit of tension. Okay, say that again. This massage will help. The circulation will increase the circulation. Oh, ah, good. Have you ever been oiled up like this before? It's been over thir 13 years since I've had a, a massage. I just don't bother. So you're, you're living in Mallorca now, aren't yeah. you? So mm -hmm. do you miss living in England? Mallorca gets like a ghost town, January, February, March. You're on your own, and the, it, it's just very, very isolated. So you have to make, you have to go out. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Wait, wait. OK. OK. <laughs> what happened? Oh, uh, my knee. All that three degrees choreography finally got, took its toll. 
I should have told you. Okay, you do it again, I'll shoot you. <laughs> okay. Presently, you're on your own, aren't you? Very. <laughs> Very much so, yeah. Do you miss not having a regular chap in your life? Well, duh. Yeah. It's probably thing I'm, I'm, I've noticed is being here. I'm, I'm so not used to people around me. I'm so used to being alone 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that I'm not used to other people's conversation. Yeah. But now we're virtually living together 24 hours a day. I mean, as we get older, we get mm. more set in our ways, yeah. don't we? And we get kind of very yeah. used to our own space and our own habit. Yeah. My partner, John, is gone. He could put up with me, so it was great. Ha! Yeah. He, he was great. And, and what, what happened there? Uh, he died. We were happy, and he just wanted to spend the rest of his life with me, and vice versa. Yeah. What I'm trying to do now is find what's missing in my life, which is the home life. You you can't live, uh, what, it's eight, almost coming up to eight years now alone, and think that's a quality. It's not a good quality of life. I've got uh, Skyping with my daughters, and we do keep in touch every day, which is a lovely thing, but it's not the physicality. The physicality is what I'm lacking. I need physical contact with people, um, and also the, the mental and emotional stimulation. People tend to think that when you're older, you don't have sex. Yes. Well, duh. That is so untrue. Well, I do think that when you yes. age together, yes. your, your sexual needs remain basically yes. the same. Yes. So you're lucky. You've been married all your life. Well, I've been yeah. married to the same woman for many years. The great thing about my wife mm -hmm. is she most of the time doesn't know where I am. Oh. Or care. Or care. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Loved everything about it. It was also nice bonding with Paul and, and getting to share a bit of privacy. Thank you so much. That was very relaxing. Very relaxing indeed. And it took the stress away from being with so many people. The first week in India is drawing to a close, and the eight senior citizens are settling into local life. I've been more relaxed since that massage. Everything was chilled, I was calm, and there's a serenity that I feel, and I, I can't explain it. And that, for me, is an eye-opener. After living in Old Kochi for a week, the group have decided to hold a party to meet their new neighbors. What time is yeah. Yes. I will tell them to come at 7. Yeah. Or Hopefully most of them should. Yeah. It'll be nice to meet some of your friends. Yeah. Yesterday we bought a lot of decoration to decorate the yeah. place up. Yeah. Are you going to help? Of yes. course. So we're all going to decorate. So can table. I leave that part to you? Yes. 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 When yeah. you come back. Yep. Sure. Lovely. But before tonight's party, the group are keen to explore further afield than their home in Kochi. We can see the rice paddy fields. And you yeah. know, the staple food for the Caroline is... Rice. Rice, rice. Yeah. fish curry. The entire state of Kerala is crisscrossed by a network of waterways. Traditionally, the banks have been home to fishermen, but recently these waterways have become a desirable place to live. God, it's not easy, is it? Hello. So I'm welcome to you to all the backwaters of Kerala. Thank you. Yeah. And your name is? Shabib. 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 Yeah. Shabib. Shabib. I'm Dinesh. 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 Like Dennis. Like Ganesh. Like Ganesh. Like Dennis. Like but not Dennis. quite Dennis. Dennis. Yeah. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, oh, oh. Am I the lucky one or not? Oh, I've got three, <laughs> three men. Three, three men. men in a boat, right? <laughs> <laughs> no baby. No baby yet. <laughs> Rusty, Lionel, Paul and Dennis are taking a houseboat through the backwaters where they can pass close to some of its impressive properties. Is that somebody's private home there, the white? Yeah. How much would a house like that cost here that, in India? Uh, that I can say approximately uh, 15 million Indian rupees. So that's about 100, that? 150,000 pounds. Oh, yeah. That would be about seven or eight million, million in, in England. In England. Yes. I'm a bit of a landlord on the quiet. Certainly, I'd be interested to see what you can get, what the rent is, what you pay for a house there. Because everybody needs a place to live. 
The backwaters run 560 miles through the heart of the state. Known as the Venice of the East, these waterways connect Kerala's villages, towns and cities. Bill, Amanda, Miriam and Sheila are using the trip to get up close to village life in Kerala. From here we are going to touch the life and nature, the heart of the villages. Oh my lord! Wow! Lord have mercy. Wow, he must have strong thighs. He's very strong. You could have there. I'm trying to see if you've got television aerials. Yeah, aerial, no need for aerial. No, no, it's that's cable. what I wanted to know. You've got cable television all the way through here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you see. How many rooms would these houses have? Probably three, ma'am. Two to three. One bedroom, living room, kitchen? Yes, correct. Yes. And is the bathroom inside or outside? No, more, most probably outside. Okay. It was so reminiscent of my childhood in the American South with my grandparents and how we lived came back to me just like that. Yeah, don't you raise it. The children are really happy to meet you. Oh, look at you! <laughs> Seeing the life on the canals was fascinating. The people live so simplistically. Oh, sorry, I thought he was holding a snake. Oh, Jesus. There's a, there's a man a there bathing. Call. He's bathing. Okay. 35 miles down river, Lionel, Dennis, Rusty and Paul are entering Vembernard Lake. Look at that. It's just like a painting. It's absent. Something you read in a book. Hello. Local guide Shabib has brought them to his village. Hello. Hello there. Hello. This is How are you? Dennis. How are you? How are you? And Lionel. You live here? here. Always. That's your house. That's your is that nice your house? house. Ah, lovely house. Yeah. That's your grandpa. Oh, yeah. Your grandfather. Oh. So he's worked, you know, Kerala government transportation company, you know, all his life. Yes. And he's retired now. And this is home. Yeah, he's home. Is... How old are you? Old. 84. 84. 84. 87. But he does a lot of dancing. <laughs> if you want your peace of mind, build a house here and come here and live because you wouldn't be happier. You couldn't be happier. When I first arrived, I thought, oh my God, this isn't what I expected. I'm living in shanty town and it's gonna be awful. And I think I made a mistake. I don't think I'll complain about another thing. I can always come back to the memory of this, this wonderful peacefulness. Look at it, look at it. Preparations for tonight's party are underway. That looks lovely. Look right. That really looks lovely. Well done, Lionel. I'm expecting a lovely tap routine tonight. <laughs> Lionel, are we going to get it? Wow. I'm just telling him okay. to send out some little yes. nibbles. Nibbles. Yeah. OK. I've got the pork. Yes. In here. Oh, lovely. That looks nice. Watch your fingers. OK, is it. everybody happy? Good. Yeah? Let's have a lovely night. OK. <laughs> The group's new neighbours are beginning to arrive at the house. You were, you were staying in the houseboat? Yes, we were. Pulling up the canals. Yes. It was lovely. It was interesting to see life and people living so simplistically. They're so happy and smiling. And, and I'm like, yeah, OK. My mind has totally relaxed since I've been here to the point where I'm not as hyper. So I, it, it has really slowed me down. Hi, Ramesh. And I am a sort of actress. On stage or TV or On movies? all of it. If we go back years and years. Carry on films. Carry on when, films? Yes. yes. Whoa. <laughs> I was Cleo in Carry On Cleo. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, you were. Of course you were. Yeah. That's an embarrassment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, well, Everybody knows it here. You're, you're messing no, no, with the no. street. Yes. No. <laughs> I'm going to need to take your autograph or something. OK, darling. Prince Charles' favourite group was the Three Degrees, but we've got the best degree with us. Would you please welcome Sheila Ferguson? Yay! Each day I live, 
I long to be a day to give the best of me. I'm only one, but not alone. Every day there's something different. It's a totally different lifestyle. It's a very, very friendly lifestyle. And we're still seeing things that I've never, ever seen. When I'm racing with death. And it's fantastic. When men say I'm cute and funny, <laughs> and my teeth are not beautiful. <laughs> I'm looking forward to finding out what more India has to offer. I just lap it all up like honey. We're just fit for anything, actually. We are. We're gung-ho. To have even more different adventures is a really, really tasty thing to look forward to. Oh, hello. It's an eye-opener. It grows on you, and you fall in love with the place. You do, really. I got music. I got my friend. Who could ask for anything more? Who could ask? It's a wonderful Indian experience so far. I look forward to more time spent here in India with people that are fun and friendly. Who could ask? For anything more. Two, three, four. Next time, our eight senior citizens settle into life in India. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> How often would you go playing golf on a tuk tuk and a ferry? <laughs> and they travel further afield. Big room, fan, light, perfect. Is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> to explore the spiritual side of the country. Wow. It's just wondrous, wondrous. The temple is one of the most beautiful I've ever seen. Knowing it's about love, that makes me smile. And the adventure continues next Wednesday at 9 on BBC One. Real people give their views on the week's events. It's all common sense on BBC Two now.